Hello, uh, welcome to this week's lab. So this is our second lab, and we will learn that how we can use um, ArcGIS Pro um, to explore uh, the air photos and also satellite images. Uh, so let's go ahead and start uh, a new project in ArcGIS Pro. So we are still going to use the map template. And uh, since it's our second lab, so let's call it lab two. And as we did uh, in the first lab, that we can save all of our project files in our uh, OneDrive folder. So uh, I'm going to go to my user folder and find out my OneDrive. And we have a folder that uh, for this class. So I'm going to select this folder. So GUG uh, 215 and for this class, for this labs. So, and then let's go ahead and I'll create uh, this new project. Uh, so here we can see the project is being created. Uh, again, we all see the base maps uh, that uh, by default are provided. Uh, so actually, we can uncheck those two base maps. Uh, instead, let's go to the portal. And we are going to first explore a uh, high resolution air photo. So let's go to portal and also we can ArcGIS online. And so the photo that uh, I uploaded uh, several years ago. So if we search image in Harrisonburg and we hit enter and we can see there are a lot of uh, results. So uh, we are looking for the image that uploaded by me. So that WEIXX and Scott GMU that's owner. And make sure we are looking at this one. And then we can drag this image to our map. So just simply drag it. And now you can see here we have this image. Uh, so it's had this image uh, I downloaded from the USGS or US Geologic Survey website. So uh, if you're interested and you can go to usgs.gov and where you can download a lot of high uh, resolution images. Uh, so if I use uh, if you use you know, the middle part of your mouse and you can zoom in and zoom out, you can see very clear that uh, we can see the houses, the road, etc. Um, let's look at uh, what options we can have. Uh, we have in ArcGIS Pro to so make sure that this image is uh, selected. And now if you go to Rust layer, uh, so first we can change the band combination. So if you click this drop down list, uh, so depending on uh, the data that uh, you have, so you can choose either natural color, which we are, uh, we are showing the red band in red, green band in green color, and also blue band in blue color. Or we can look, try to see the uh, color infrared. Okay, so if you check color infrared, uh, so here you can see the band for now is showing in the red color. So that is a near infrared uh, band. Uh, so in the near, inf uh, near infrared band or the uh, color infrared uh, combination. So normally the vegetables, uh, they will show a red color. Okay, so, so here there's a, a color infrared. And uh, another very useful tool that in ArcGIS Pro is called uh, DRA, which stands for Dynamic Range Adjustment. Uh, so if we check that, and so this will uh, uh, increase or decrease the contrast of the image within the extent of our view, so that we can highlight the difference differences within our view. So for example, uh, Let's see, I just uncheck this one. Uh, let's see, I zoom into uh, this region where you can see the colors are pretty much the same. However, if I enable the DRA, so they can change the contrast. So you can see the, um, the colors are slightly different so that we can see the tiny differences uh, more clearly. So however, if you zoom out, they will change the contrast dynamically. So again, if I zoom in, you can see they will highlight the difference. And if I zoom out, okay, uh, 
Uh, so it will look like this. So that is uh, the DRA. All right. Uh, so next, let's check the uh, the properties of the uh, the photo. So again, just as we did earlier. So let's right click uh, this layer and we go to the properties. So normally the properties is where we can uh, find out a lot of uh, useful information. So if we go to the uh, source, uh, so if we check the the band information, and we can see that we have four bands. Okay, so four bands. Uh, so because I upload uploaded this uh, photos, I know that uh, those four bands are a red band, green band, blue band, and also near infrared band. Okay, so those are those four bands. Uh, we can also see that the the unit is U.S. food, and also the cell size is one, so which means that the spatial resolution of this uh, image is one foot. Okay, so that is spatial resolution. All right. Uh, so you, uh, we can also check the uh, the coordination system of this image. So we can see that this one is using the state plan uh, Virginia North. Okay, because this photo uh, is uh, in Harrisonburg, so that's why um, we choose a state plan Virginia, so where we have the least distortion. Uh, the the GCS is NAD 1983. Okay, uh, so that's pretty much about uh, this uh, hydro resolution photo. So again, it is uploaded by myself. So it's a very simple uh, image where it has only three band, uh, four bands. Uh, you can switch the uh, the color combination between the uh, the natural color, so true color. And also color infrared, okay. So the false color image. So depending on the bands that we have, and you can also enable or disable DRA. So if you enable DRA, so you are able to see the details uh, within um, a very uh, long, uh, within a short extent, uh, within a small extent. So we can uh, where the differences will be highlighted. Okay, so that's a DRA. And uh, finally, so if you want to check the, the band information, where you can go to the properties of that layer. And if you want to check the spatial uh, coordinations, and you can also go to the properties of that layer. All right, uh, next, we're going to look at some uh, satellite images. Uh, so for those satellite images, uh, the one that is most popular probably is a Landsat image. Uh, so let's go to Living Atlas, and uh, we're uh, actually maintained uh, several different type of the uh, Landsat uh, products. So here, let's say go to the Living Atlas, and this time let's search a multi-spectral or Landsat. Multispectral uh, land set. Okay, and we can see we have again um, uh, several multiple results. So we are looking at the first one. We can see the owner is Asri, so uh, that is maintained by Asri. And we can also again drag this one uh, to our map. Uh, and also remember that this land set image is maintained by Asri. And uh, it may take a, a few seconds that to load this entire image. Uh, if you zoom out, uh, you can see this image that covers the entire world. So just remember that this is image that for the entire world. So that may take uh, time that when you uh, uh, use a process or view or analyze that land set image. Okay. So let's say we are still looking at the Harrisonburg area. So uh, let's say we want to look at the same region as this photo. So let's right click our photo and let's say zoom into the layer. Okay, and again, we can see this is uh, this circle is running. So when the circle was running, so that means it is processing. Uh, when the circle stops, that means uh, the process uh, it fit, is done. So now we can view the image. So if I uncheck the lens set, we can see we are at the same region that 
where the photos covers. Uh, so if we check that, and we also see the landsat on top. So the first thing that we can see is that the, the difference of the spatial resolution. So we can see the, the photo has a very high spatial resolution, which is one foot. And landsat has relatively lower spatial resolution. So we'll have we have find that out uh, later. So this is an online image. Uh, of the online data set. So we go to processing templates. And here we can see we can see the different color conditions. So because Landsat contains multiple bands, so we are able to see uh, more types of color conditions and for different uh, purposes. So for example, we can see the color infrared. Uh, we can see the natural color. Uh, we can also see the NDVI. Uh, the index of NDVR with colors. Uh, so let's first, let's go ahead and to look at the natural color. So where we can see, we are see the, uh, the baseball bands actually. So let's go to the natural color. And let's uh, be patient. So we can see this circle is running. So that is processing. Okay, so now it's down. So we can see again, uh, the spatial resolution is very low. We are, we are showing this is a natural color image. We are showing the red band in red color, green band in green color, and also blue band in blue color. All right, uh, so if we want to find out what are the spatial resolutions and also how many bands are available, so let's right click this uh, data set and let's look at the metadata. Okay, so because it is maintained by S3, so they, they do provide the metadata, very nice metadata. Where we can we can see the summary of the data set. Uh, if we go down, and we can see the bands. So we can see we have multi spectral bands where we have those nine bands. We have blue, green, red, near infrared, and the wavelengths. And uh, we can see the spatial resolution, which exactly is lower than the photo that we just saw earlier. So here the spatial resolution for in those baseball bands and also in those. Uh, nine bands, the resolution is 30 meters. Okay, so that's uh, lower than the one feet we saw earlier. Uh, we also have the thermal bands. So we have two thermal bands. We can see the, uh, the wavelengths. And that resolution is even lower. Okay, so we have 100 meters resolution. Okay, so the mental data is a place where we can find out uh, uh, a lot of great information. All right, uh, so we, if you look at the properties, and so if we do the same thing as we did um, um, uh, on those uh, the air photos, so you can, if you look at the information, we can see here it's the meters. Right now, we're looking at those three bands. Three bands are loaded right now. Um, and we can see the size is 30, so that's 30 meters. So that's the same information we saw in the uh, metadata. And uh, we can look at the, the, the coordination, so the PCS, and also the GCS. Okay, so those are PCS and also GCS. All right, uh, so next, uh, so in ArcGIS Pro, so we also have a nice feature where we can look at the spectral profile, so which means that so we can look at the reflections of the light in different wavelengths uh, for different locations. Uh, so let's see, now let's keep that we're looking at the, the natural color. So we, we look uh, looking at the, the band in red, green, and also blue. And we go ahead and also create a chart and let's create a spectral profile. Uh, and then this window come up. Uh, so we can define a point or we can define a line where you can check the spectral profile. So let's say we are going to see a point and let's say we are probably this region where it looks like probably this is a, a building. So I click that and now I have this profile for this location where we can see the reflection in the red band is much higher and the reflect reflection in the blue band is lower. 
Uh, so let's add another point where let's see this area probably that is those are a lot of trees. And we can see for this point or for this location, we can see uh, the re reflection in the red band is very low, red, red, relatively lower. And in the green band, it's much higher. Okay, so that is the spectral profile that we can create. All right, uh, so let's close the spectral profile. And let's go ahead and go, to, go back to the processing template. Uh, so again, they have a lot of very nice combinations, like color infrared with DRA, geology with DRA, so where you can see uh, a very short descriptions for that for that color combination. Uh, so let's say we also want to change to the color infrared. So let's go ahead and also choose color infrared. And so we want to compare the color infrared uh, image. Uh, between the Landsat image and also the air photos. So the air photos was taken in 2011. Okay, so this one uh, is a 2011. And uh, for this Landsat image, so if we go and go to map and click this explore and click uh, our Landsat image, and we can see actually we have the Landsat image in multiple years or in multiple dates. So the top one was captured in 2022, March. Uh, the second one that is in May 2023, so th this year. And we have our third image that is actually in August 2023. So that's just uh, like uh, seven days ago. So. Uh, when I recorded this video. Okay, so we have multiple images. So let's say we just want to see the latest one, that is August uh, 22nd of 2023. Uh, so there are probably uh, other bad ways, but the way that I'm going to use, I'm going to go to time and say I want to enable the time. And now you can see we have a slider, so you can choose uh, uh, the range of the time. So let's say we are going to go to August uh, of the two, uh, 2023. So I'm going to put this one to August of 2023. Okay, I think that's close. All right. And now if I um, use this explore function, so you can see here we are looking at just one layer, uh, the, the data in that single on that single date. And so if I zoom in and zoom out a little bit, okay, so we can see that is the image that is captured uh, one week ago. And we are also looking at the new infrared. Uh, so now we are able to compare, okay, so the difference between the Landsat image and also the air photos. So to compare, and those two images at the same time. We can also go to the image service layer and we can use this sweep. Let's check that sweep. And now we can see the mouse, the arrow of the mouse uh, has changed. Uh, so if I click the mouse, the left button, and also I drag, and now you can see I can compare those two images at the same time. Okay, so uh, there are a few things that we can, uh, we can notice. So first one is that you can see the roads and this intersection, so those are still the same. Okay, uh, however, uh, uh, it looks like we have uh, probably new buildings in this area. So uh, we can see that back in 2011, so we, those are just empty uh, field. However, so in 2028, so it looks like we do have some uh, constructions here. However, unfortunately, the Landsat image, the spatial resolution is very low, so we are not 100% sure. So, all right, and I think that's pretty much about uh, how we can explore uh, the, the air photos and also satellite images in ArcGIS Pro. So uh, first, you can go to the ArcGIS Online um, 
or you can go to Living Atlas and to download uh, the air photos on, and our satellite images. Uh, and you can change the color conditions or if the data provided the templates and you can also change the processing templates. Um, you can check the properties uh, and to see the spatial resolution uh, and also the band information. And sometimes if the data provide uh, mental data, and you can also check those information from the mental data. Okay, and finally, we also tried the spatial spectral profile, so um, that's very nice. And if you want to compare the multiple images, you can try to use this sweep function, where you can compare the images at the same time.